Hello and welcome to a video that is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of June 2020. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you watch this video, we are in Cancer season. Okay, sorry about that guys. Uh, as I said, we are in Cancer season, so happy birthday to the Cancer Suns watching this video who are experiencing their solar returns. But welcome Moon and Rising and Venus and all that good stuff and Cross Watcher. So let's just go ahead and get started. I shuffled and I do have the chariot. It did not take me very long to connect to you, Cancer, and I just want to say I love you guys' energy. I'm a Pisces. I love water. It's been a while. It's been since Pisces season, um, about four months ago, I think, since water. So you're the first water season in a, in a few months, so I'm happy to be back in the water. Um, there's a lot happening. I'm going to gradually mention astrology throughout this whole reading. But uh, aside from solar returns, there's a Mercury retrograde happening in your sign. That's critical. We have a full moon in Capricorn on July 5th. A new moon eclipse took place in Cancer on the summer solstice this month. And that was around like the 19th and 20th. Really, really. Well, the 19th, the 20th, and the 20th. First, we're really exhausting days, okay? But I feel now, as we approach the end of June, the last week of June, we're getting our energy back. Venus is direct. Mars is going to move into Aries, which will square you, Cancer. Um, but we're basically, yeah, at the end of June. Let's just reflect on what June um, brought you guys, okay? So we got the chariot. That's you. We're going to really quick here take a look at the underlying energy. Uh, could be some kind of message here. Okay, we got... Someone here, uh, Cancer, maybe you or someone around you, okay? Uh, fire energy, though, off rip. Aries, Leo, Sag. This is the energy of protection, standing up. This this vibration in this card is like definitely like a battle, almost like a protest energy. I hate to say that because there's a lot of protests and riots happening in June, but that's a vibe. Some of you guys may resonate with that. Um, but this is about sticking up for yourself. I feel there's, a, there's an energy of June. There's a lot of crabby crabs out there. I feel there's an angry Cancer something this is all the things you know it's different you know you went through 12th house energy at the beginning of june and that's ending surrender a lot of subconscious heaviness maybe your dreams were important but when you reach cancer season in the middle of june it's like you guys are ready to take a stand you're stepping up there's people below you that are fighting you off and stuff like that or that you're fighting off now this is there's some kind of situation that has got you hostile in june that's actually changing your perspective about something and it's changing your perspective in a way that it's an enlightening you to where you don't feel stuck this is something you felt stuck in perhaps a mindset or a living situation or something of that sort but you're standing up for yourself and you're this is Neptune retrograde, so I do want to say that June 23rd may have been important when this standing up battle took place. Standing up for yourself in June is going to change your perspective. Now, this is a sacrifice as well. You may have to surrender. There's a, there's a difference here. You may be surrendering to opposition, which is interesting. That would be Capricorn, Pluto, Jupiter energy. Thank goodness Saturn... Well, actually, I, I'm glad that I rambled and, and came on this subject. Please be prepared for Saturn to retrograde back into your opposite sign, Capricorn, July 1st. July is going to be a different kind of month. We're going to start July off with Capricorn back, Saturn back in Capricorn. It's been in Aquarius for a couple months or, or, or a month. That's different. That doesn't oppose you. Saturn is going to oppose you one last time before exiting Capricorn for, for a while. Anyway, uh, I don't know if this is you guys standing up or if you guys sacri if you're sacrificing something to see something from a different... This is enlightenment here, okay? And I do feel that some of you guys will resonate with, the, with a person, place, or thing. This may not be my cancers. This might be someone around you. This might be an opposing force or a bully or a boss or something, but it's not calm, positive energy. It's definitely hostile and conflicty, and I'm not sure if some of you guys are surrendering to a battle or if standing up for yourself is changing your point of view, but that is Neptune. There's spiritual enlightenment. Either way, you guys, uh, this is happening because of some kind of walking away for a soul journey. Got that full moon there in Capricorn that might be important, or that full moon in Sagittarius that might have been important um, on June 5th. Uh, that was a very bright full moon there, so there could have been some coming away. This is someone who's leaving. Maybe they come back, but they're searching for fulfillment either way, okay? Um, you're becoming enlightened to the sacrifices you're going to have to make in cancer season to walk away. Someone is, okay? Someone's enlightened about 
the situation that's always been hostile and instead of staying stagnant they're gonna choose to walk away okay you could be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio here definitely pisces energy wow as, as i say that i reveal the nine of cups and the moon so there's some kind of hidden emotional fulfillment here double pisces here two different pisces a pisces sun moon rising i see pisces moon here specifically but you know, the Nine of Cups, yeah, right after the Eight of Cups, this is making sense. And we're going to start shuffling here in a moment, but this is a message for someone. Someone here, specifically under a full moon, it doesn't have to be, but I always see that in the Eight of Cups, that you walk away. It's interesting how a full moon brings things to completion. The new moons as well, though. You guys might be setting new intention for emotional fulfillment. Someone here is much happier after they leave a situation, or they're much happier after someone else leaves a stagnant... I'm telling you, there was a stagnant, hostile situation that someone's leaving... They're going to find that ninth cup, the wish fulfillment, okay? And there is some fears. Someone here, they, they may not know. They, there may be some unknown energy. See the moon and how the moon in darkness and darkness is, is surrounding this energy. Someone here, maybe not. Maybe they walk away and they just don't really know what's going to fulfill them, but they're going to face their fears. Follow your intuition and your dreams about this, okay? Because we have the five of swords. There's definitely some kind of conflict. Someone here... I don't know if this was an argument about secrets, all right? If someone's secretly emotionally fulfilled elsewhere, but there's someone here that you had a hard time speaking to, maybe in Gemini season, maybe it is a Gemini, okay? We have the card for Gemini here. But this has to do with a lover, a lover's collaboration. Like, I don't know if there's a connection or a passionate project. It might not be romantic or sexual or a relationship, but I see a little bit of a combination for all of you for different reasons. Third party, I don't know if any of you guys, if you're, if work separates you and a person, if they work far away or what they do for work separates you, something like that. I'm just going off of here. There's going to be a new path to choose in that situation, especially if you're dealing with a father figure, boss, if it has to do with a management position, anything like that, or an Aries. But there's there's definitely an argument here. Um, you experience some relationship stuff, or you will when that full moon comes in in Capricorn, for sure, Cancer. Especially Cancer rising. But there's definitely you know, something conflicting here about a choice. There's a choice... And it's all about what you can't see, because you're going to be tested on your intuition, Cancer, in your season, okay? Uh, even though you don't know the way forward, are you going to tap in to... Because you're your most intuitive when you're emotionally fulfilled. Do you ever realize that? That's why I can't, That's why water signs, specifically Cancer and Pisces, are more in tune spiritually when they're in love, okay? Because, well, maybe I'm giving away too many secrets here, but you guys know what I mean, right? Like, you're most in tune when you're in love and when you're happy, Right? So follow your intuition about that, of course, and walk away if you need to, guys. Some of you already have. You may walk away on July 4th, but you're going to be stagnant until you do, until you change your mind about something, until you sacrifice. Now, you're going to have to walk away, and of course, you're not going to be able to walk away with everything you had in that place or person or situation. That's why the cups are being left right here. They weren't fulfilling anyway. They were empty-ass cups. Leave the eight cups empty to get nine full ones, but Cancer, June showed you how to stand the fuck up. And you could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sag, or there was some yelling, some harsh expressing, okay? So let's get into it. How did Cancer enter the month of June 2020? What is the start of June? What was that like? Show me the beginning of June 2020 for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Show me the beginning of June. Uh, it's the Six of Wands. I thought it was the Seven of Wands again, I was going to say. So this is the card right right below that, that Seven of Wands we just talked about, the defensive and uh, guarded up energy. So you came into June quite victorious, quite on a high horse, somebody, maybe with a promotion or some kind of acknowledgement or celebration, a small celebration here. Some kind of small hip hip parade for he's a jolly good fellow moment, um, but acknowledgement nonetheless, and a lot of tension. A lot of people have their eye on you, Cancer, and again, we have Aries Leo Sag, but this was something you expressed. Again, I don't know if someone was at a protest or, or something, but I see a protest energy, the energy of a parade. Now, we have the star card at the bottom. So this is fate to me, this is a healing, inspiration, and this is Aquarius. So there could be an Aquarius here that is linked to attention. This is Leo energy to me as well, Aquarius and Leo. Um, hmm. Now this is something you're wishing for. The star card is a wish that you make, obviously. It's destiny. Someone here may get a lot of attention because they're a star. And this could be, you know, the, the thousandaires out there on YouTube and shit too. I'm not saying you gotta be a millionaire, but someone here has a limelight. They're a star. They're this bright yellow star here. You may have Aquarian energy that makes this even more so for you. Or someone who has Aquarius energy is a star. And I mean, 
someone here, I'm telling you, that with the star, they're a celebrity. They get a lot of attention. They're getting admired for that online, I feel. And then we have the Page of Swords. So, yeah, there's an Aquarius here watching amongst this crowd. There was an Aquarius, someone with heavy Aquarian energy who was watching you. Um, be, be very victorious. Okay, now you might need some more information. There might be a piece of information that, you, that you're missing. Now, there's a Taurus showing up, too. Or this is advice, but we've got... You got your eye on a star. There's someone who's got their eye on you for a star. And it's like, they're watching how you handle this attention or something like that. The stars are watching you, Cancer. I don't know. Uh, give me more for June, okay? We have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a collaboration similar to the Gemini video I just did. Maybe there's a Gemini here uh, that you're collaborating with. Or there was a collaboration in Gemini season. Please keep in mind the way I'm reading this. This is the first two weeks of June that we're covering right now. How you enter June. You're getting a lot of attention online, Cancer, aren't you? Collaborations, okay? I don't know why I'm being led to the Destiny Child... Uh, because basically there's three people here working on something, but one of those people is getting all the hype, getting all the recognition. It's that Destiny Child situation that poor Michelle, and I don't know if you're Michelle or Beyonce or, um, uh, oh my God, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly Rowland, Michelle, okay. You guys know what I mean by that? Like, I don't know. But that's just a side thing right there. Basically someone's getting promoted um, at work. You're stepping up. Someone's stepping up here. Now, that might be what that Seven of Wands was about. Someone here might be, like, envious or something. A lot of envy to look out for in the Six of Wands when someone's shining that bright and winning. But we have three people here. Earth, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I'm telling you, you're getting knowledge for something, some kind of project you build. This is online energy again. The star was, like, the star, okay? But this is, I'm telling you, there was some kind of online attention or, there, you know, maybe you just said something. But this is a collaboration you have with someone, or three someones, um, could be a third party not feeling that, um, not for all of you anyways. Bottom of the deck is the King of Wands, so this might involve a Leo, an Aries, a Sag. If not, you might have that energy in your chart or they, someone around you does, but this is about taking action. Anybody can be the King of Wands. There's something that you're stepping up to do, Cancer, because you're confident enough to do it. You're confident enough to be the speaker, to be the pointer, to be the leader, to, to make initiative. You're really feeling that energy. I think some of you have Leo energy to help. There is a male Leo here that I need to mention. It's not definite. All of you aren't dealing with Leos. Some of you, this is a Sag. Some of you, this is an Aries. Some of you, this is just a quality of a person. I don't know if you work with a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, specifically a Leo that gets a lot of attention. Okay, and again, this is Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. There's definitely a lot of, I don't know if this is a Zoom call or somebody talks to a lot of people there's like a crowd so this is like a, a live broadcast or something but there's an action that you want to take all right with this king of wands and it has to do with oh we so the bottom of the deck here if you're dealing with a leo um i don't know if this leo feels left out in the cold or if there's an action that someone wants to take after being left out in the cold they lost a job or something there was stealing someone here there's something that was stolen with the five of pentacles and the seven of swords i don't like that Five of Pentacles is lost. I don't know if this is a, someone came into someone's home and stole or there's something going on in this collaboration. There's a fire sign. I hate to say this. It's going to resonate for who it does. There is a fire sign, Leo specifically. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Aries, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. We got Earth and Air here too, but I do see Leo. Basically, someone you worked with, you're going to have to, like, there's a fire sign or someone arrogant. There's someone arrogant amongst this group. This ain't going to resonate with all y'all, okay? But they lie, they steal, they take all the credit. I felt that vibe with the Six of Wands. And I do feel it might be a Leo because we have the sun in Cancer. This all took place, look, when the sun moves into Cancer. Now, this might involve a child as well that you're standing up for. That might be the sacrifice. But it's like, there's someone here that, I don't know if there's a fire sign who's really upset on your behalf because someone left you out in the cold or something. You might need to ask for a fire sign's help, but someone ain't telling the truth. Okay, now that's going to come out in the sun. Okay, the sun is going to shine clarity on this situation. Someone did something in broad daylight. Maybe it's caught on camera. They did it on a, online. Someone saw something on a live. Or, I don't know. Let's continue. Oh, okay. We have the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups. That's gorgeous. We have a new spark here. This is family stuff. This is... Um, now, there could be a pregnancy here with the Ace of Wands, that sexual encounter, okay? And with the Ten of Cups, that's a new happy home environment. It could be a new fire sign, new passion here, new home. Something going on um, 
I'm just gonna stay here so this resonates with all of you it's a new I mean it looks exactly like what it is okay it's a new spark it makes you very happy and this this was something you were working towards or something that you had on your mind or even obtained at the beginning of June okay but it's very emotionally fulfilling it's a new spark a new person a new romantic encounter it's like the family's all living here or something for some of you guys there's children and if not this is like you feel like a kid again because this sparks you in that way very very happy like blessings now we got you at the bottom of the deck for this cancer beautiful could be a Pisces or a Scorpio woman as well but I see someone here who's very emotionally in tune and balanced because of some kind of new spark that happens I'm gonna say for the majority of you it happens at the beginning of June but it could happen at any time in June it's that thing that took place that spark that really made you happy I think it involves a home relationship or family thing it's a new idea a new passionate endeavor it might even be a new job new collaborators okay but you're looking great now it's interesting that I just revealed the eight of swords so behind it all you do feel a little bit in your head maybe because it was still Gemini season you definitely need to tap back into these emotions you've avoided this has this has got you it, it released you there's some kind of new home environment or relationship that is getting you out of a place that you have felt stuck so this is the difference between like paradise and hell like this is gonna be an emotional safe haven for somebody here where they can actually think and get in tune with their feelings so let's let's go ahead and shift into the second half of June and out comes the two of wands the second half of June for you cancer is all about choosing a new direction for yourself with the two of wands you get the ace and the two so because of this new spark this is what initially sparks it off ending the first half of June going into the second because of a new relationship home situation some kind of new spark that emotionally fulfills you makes you the queen of cups maybe it has to do with the, your job or a collaboration online this to me looks like a, a new opportunity and maybe you have to move for it or something I don't know but because of that it sends you into the second half of June in between where you've been and where you're going and the only time the universe puts you here is when you really critically need to hold the world in your hands and really decide a victorious path for yourself especially because this is under the six of wands so there's a opportunity here for a new spark and it's pulling you you get a lot of recognition in this direction um, it's about choosing the distance for yourself not something you're comfortable with you know you can't grow and be comfortable at the same time especially in cancer season okay I know the north node is no longer in cancer so karma is not necessarily as involved as it was we're no longer bound but you're free to go towards the hype cancer and let go of this damn four of pentacles because this is definitely a comfort zone you're gonna have to let go of a comfort zone you might need to save your money in order to get yourself somewhere in the next couple of months because this could be two weeks two days two months i'm thinking this is two weeks to two months last two weeks of july or i'm sorry okay maybe 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 that was said on purpose the last two weeks of june and also, June 2nd might have been important because we have the 6th of Wands, we, and June is a 6th month, right? July would be the 7th. So yeah, the last two weeks of June is going to be important. You might need to hang on to your money, you might need to save something you value, but on the other hand, because of the two of Wands, there's going to be something that you're going to need to let go of, a job, a comfort zone, a person, place, or thing, or situation that ultimately keeps you from gaining the recognition that is the opposite direction. You have a choice between something that you've been comfortable with and something that could make you grow beyond all expectation. Like, it has something to do with the tension that you got. Look at that. Hi, Cancer. You're coming out for your own reading. So we have the chariot. You might be dealing with another Cancer. Or you're showing up in your own reading. You may work with, a, with another Cancer. This is um, definitely you're amongst these people. Now, someone's vehicle may be important here. I don't know if someone has to save up $400. Again, I want to mention, but look seven of wands i can't make this shit up there is a cancer here that has to stand up you were already doing it this is your vibe for june i want to say uh so protection battles um perseverance very strong this is both cards of persevering through obstacles no matter what's in your way you're going to stand beyond it above it but this is about driving in a certain direction as well um i don't know there's a car here and a job like, i don't know if someone works here from a car whatever that means worked from their car this is uber lyft all that someone here that might resonate with that and that, that might be what you need to leave behind to get this new spark put it where it resonates but the fact that you're showing up in your own reading now this is cancer season remember we're going into your birthday here so obviously it's like there's these two different paths cancer 
between comfort and growth, between then and now, where you've been and where you're going. All right, bottom of the deck, yeah, seven of wands. So you need to stand up in order to, like, this is an obstacle for you. Remember, the chariot brings up obstacles mentally. This is about harnessing something, harnessing everything at the end of June, getting everything working together in the same direction, ultimately for this new spark of emotional fulfillment. Show me the end of June 2020 for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's this card? The star again. That card showed itself. There is a heavy Aquarius here. There's a heavy, heavy, heavy Leo, Aries, Sag, or an action that you want to take. Now there's a Capricorn. We have the Chariot and the Devil right here. So if you're with a Capricorn, they're showing up. This is opposite signs. And this is an opposition that's really important in June because there's going to be a new moon in Cancer eclipse that we already had. And then there's going to be a full moon in Capricorn on July 4th. Hell of a day to have an eclipse if you ask me. So for some of you, addiction, uh, addip, addiction, codependency, toxicity, karma, karmic soulmates, lust. There is a need to look out for lust here in sex only. I don't know if that emotionally fulfills you guys. I'm just the messenger with the ace of wands and the devil. There could be someone here who's really sexually attracted to you, but is it more? Are they willing to move in and you know be emotionally fulfilling and all that with you? I'm not sure, but it's a new spark regardless, right? Um yeah i want to say here you're moving forward in spite of any devilish obstacles could be a new capricorn here a karmic relationship but if you if there's addiction that you are another person are moving forward from or dealing with you're going to be choosing a new direction for yourself thinking about your future world we have the page of wands under here so there's good news okay on the, the last couple of days of june maybe from a capricorn maybe this is a leo we had leo show up a bunch so someone has leo in their chart we have only two major arcana, and so far it's you, Cancer, and your opposite sign, Capricorn. So your seventh house is going to be really important heading into July. New sparks on the Capricorn full moon, and good news, some kind of adventure that you want to go on. This could be a child, and we do have the Queen of Pentacles, so there's a female Capricorn here, for sure. And we have the tower and the moon, so that Capricorn moon, I can tell you guys in advance that there's going to be some shocking good news. You might not be able to see this coming, but that's not always a bad thing. There's a lot of stability to be had here. Okay, give me the last June 2020 for Cancer. How does Cancer end June? Show me the very ending of June 2020 for Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Just with a solid card. And we have, that's so fucking weird. Okay, Eight of Wands. You know, I did the Gemini reading. Cancer, you're my second reading because it's also your birthday. So I do the birthday zodiac signs first. Um, yeah, next month I'll be doing your video first, first for July, okay? So, well, anyways, I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, but I kid you not, they had the Eight of Wands in the same position right here. So, you might want to watch that reading if you have Gemini energy or if you're dealing with a Gemini. But basically, I'm going to tell you the same thing as I told Gemini, like, regardless of the retrogrades going on, some of which are in your sign, Cancer. There's still a focus and movement forward. This is a text message, communication. This is fast forward focus, everything moving in one direction. And it looks as if it has something to do with this ace. There was some kind of spark you felt emotionally fulfilled with at the beginning. There was an idea of it. There was, there was some kind of message in the wind about it. I don't know if it really comes in, though, until the end of June. Now, there could be a message here from a Capricorn that's important. Or if this is not a Capricorn in your chart or in someone else's, or if it's not the full moon, keep in mind this does bring up your shadow side, Cancer. The, the eclipse definitely brought up some kind of shadow side for you. Bottom of the deck for your whole reading is the Ace of Swords with the High Priestess. Wow. If there was ever a vibe for Cancer, this would be it. There is a hidden truth here that you're intuitively aware of. You're getting a lot of spiritual clarity here. Someone here may have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius moon because we've got the Ace of Swords in the moon. This is your energy. This is Pisces as well. There's communication here happening subconsciously. You're getting a lot of clarity and um, there's a lot of victorious subconscious energy here. Like you're prevailing through the shadows and adding light where there once wasn't. Like this is Eclipse energy. This is a secret coming out. Someone who's willing to tell the truth now about something that was hidden before, whatever that means. That could mean a million things. But we move into the Six of Cups. So this has to do maybe with um, children or memories, secret memories that someone wants the truth. It might be a little bit of closure here to mention. Got a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius woman or a woman of truth here. Definitely some communication and truth coming in regardless of gender and zodiac. This might be someone coming back from the past, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
there's secrets from the past though that you still need the truth about isn't there cancer and isn't that what your season is entirely about like the fact that the high priestess and the ace of swords reside over your whole reading for june that tells me that all throughout june there was this underlying secret under beneath the surface energy of cancer just really cutting through the unknown and of darkness and that is so a vibe okay the truth victory new communication it's because mercury is in your sign okay so the things you're saying the things people are saying to you the conversations and communication even from a shadow standpoint even from this perspective here with the ace of wands and the devil it's like there's definitely a lot of lust sparking for you as well which is nothing wrong with that there's some movement going on in the happy home emotional fulfillment family sector there are some obstacles, I want to say, with collaborations and work, but I think you're going to handle that. You're going to stand up. You might even have to stand up and take a step up of uh, more responsibility because you're getting a lot of attention. This month, you came in very victorious, Cancer. Okay, a lot of a birthday attention and celebrations to be had. There's like a celebration with three people here. There's a work celebration here or anniversary to mention. I didn't see that before, but this could be definitely some kind of promote, like some kind of celebration at work. You guys know what that means. And then, of course, we have that new emotionally fulfilling spark. We got a, a new beginning and an ending here. Something may end and wrap up emotionally while something new sparks passionately. Because of that, the second, your birthday season right here, it's all about moving forward past toxicity and focusing on the truth. But also, I think the main thing ending June is just choosing a route for yourself. You can't drive in two different directions, literally, metaphorically. So, yeah, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for listening, even though we've reached the end of June. If this resonated and you'd like a personal reading, I do offer those. Just check my description box and you can email me. We can totally talk about how to set that up. But I do appreciate your likes and your subscribes and your comments. It means the world to me. And, yeah, hopefully you guys are having great birthdays, Cancer Suns out there. And thank you, Cancer Risings and Moons, for watching as well. Um, and cross watchers. So yeah, guys, this is what I have. I will catch you guys again in July. Bye